Hey everybody, my name is Juli Salgado, uh, project manager for Culture Strike. Welcome to Taco Talk, where we take some of your favorite activist artists and make them have some tacos. Like, who's gonna say no to that? For our first installment, we're here at Taco Sinaloa with our guest, Robert Trujillo. Thank you for having me. What do you, what you got? I got I'm gonna start eating. I'm just gonna start eating because like, I'm just watching this, but what you got? I got three tacos, the camarón, and it's delicious. Roberto is like an amazing artist. Oh, thank you. He was part of the, of the Visions from the Inside project with Culture Strike. How did you get started in, in, into making art, like from your like earliest memory? Well, I always liked to draw when I was a kid. I created um, kind of like Bill Bill DeVoe for making me want to, to do art because they had the, the airbrush t-shirts, the overalls, and made me want to know like how they, <laughs> how they did that. So my mom took me to uh, this place called Chartique, which is a, a it was like it's just like a, a store full of shirts and sweatshirts and stuff, but you could get them customized. Dream, the the you know the, the Oakland writer of fame, right, yeah. he worked there, and he was just like you know amazing, just blown away. And then I started to just see the connections between that and graffiti art. And my mom got me a book about graffiti, and so I was like, graffiti was my first love, and I loved doing that. And then I started you know getting to other little things, but ever since I was probably like ten, I would say. Is your experience being here from Oakland connected to your politicizing of your artwork, or, or how, how would, when did your artwork become political? political? I mean, it's a political. The political part is it's hard to tell because sometimes I, when I mean to, like, oh yeah, I want to make a statement, it doesn't really come out that way, and then sometimes when I'm not trying to at all, it becomes a statement. So uh, I, I would hesitate to say. My work is political, but I know that there have been some things that I've done that are. I definitely felt like, you know, I'm not an organizer, I'm not uh, a quote unquote activist, but I do still have a, a viewpoint. I want to say something. How the, does being a father, of course, it's just in your work, but like, did, that, did you see a change in, in, in the way that you approach your artwork? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, the whole reason I chose to do um, storytelling is because I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get convey to my son or even not bore the hell out of myself like trying to shove all the books and ideology and like lectures and all this. I mean they, those are, those definitely have merit but uh, it's really hard to convince or to really get people's attention by just throwing a bunch of information at them. What people really gravitate to is the story and it's what people remember and it's like if you can um, have someone identify with someone's emotion and someone's uh, personal story then you can it's like an open door for so many other things that, to understand about them that are also a part of the story. Just reading books to him made me want to get involved in that. And now because he's, my, my son is bigger, <clears throat> when we go to get books or something like that, I'm like, okay, that's what you like, that's what you're into, and I'm, I'm like, okay, I wonder if I can make something like that that you'll be feeling that's, you know, not necessarily about, you know, blowing somebody up, but it's about, you know, something that's related to peace and, you know, quality. Are you professionally trained artists or, or did you study art? I went to art school, I went to public uh, school, I went to state university. They all added up, you know, to some type of training. But some kids just asked me this the other day too when I was I was doing a reading in the elementary school class. And they were like, Did you go to school? And I was and like I started to tell them about the private school aspect of it, but I was like, really, the most important school is like uh, going back to that community that you build as an artist. Like if you can connect with other artists, I don't know, I've just learned so much more from other artists and like from my like close friends than any school because, you know, they push you. Like they do something that's really good and you want to like top it. Um, the more I think about it now, it's just becoming like a, a racket, like a way to make a hell of money off of kids who don't necessarily know which way they're going and who come out and don't have the training to make an actual business out of it because Gone are the days of some company just saying, I mean, it's rare, it happens, but it's not very often some company just comes like, like, oh yeah, I like, you know, I want to hire you to, and I'm going to pay you for, you know, everything. And yeah. You just have to be so much of an entrepreneur these days. Yeah. Are you working any, any more, any projects about that? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm working on a book written by this woman named uh, <laughs> Lauren uh, Mayeno. She wrote a book about her son who, was, who basically, he didn't come out when he was a little boy, but he knew who he was very young. When he was a little boy, he wanted to be a princess, and she had to go through like, you know, what do I do? Do I support him? Other than that, and she, you know, got all the way down and supported him, and so she wrote a story about it, and I'm illustrating it, and it's a really awesome story. It's like as soon as you read it, you're like, oh, I'm doing that. Oh my god! So it's pretty awesome, and I hope to be able to share it with um, 
other fathers to be like, look, if this happens to you, you can't say that there's not a, a, book, about a book about it. Yeah. You know, like read it, read it to your kids. Like whether they decide to like boys or girls or dresses or pants, doesn't matter. Like this is an example of another way of being. Well, thank you so much, Robert. Thank you for uh, having me. It was me. a pleasure. Where can people find your work? Uh, robdonstop.com. Robdonstop.com. Link is on the bottom. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time. Did you enjoy your taco? Tacos are awesome. Taco talk. Till the next taco talk. Bye.